Ugh, sorry. It's morning, I'm tired. Yo, what's up guys, this is Ace, and welcome to this week's Tuesday tutorial. Um, it's pretty early in the morning right now, and I'm doing it because I forgot to do it last night. Um, so sorry about that. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to like animate pictures in iMovie like I did in some of my other videos. Uh, like I, I would put a picture on someone's face or something and it would move when they moved. So I, I'm pretty much just going to show you guys how to do that. So hmm, let's see, what's a clip I can like drag in here? I guess I'll just drag in Green Keys intro. There we go. You can see the intro and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to, let's see here. So let's put it a picture like let's put the Illuminati in here or not. So if we put that in here, you want to you want to put it on top of whatever thing you have here. So I'm gonna put it on there, and you'll see if it's a PNG image when you first put it in, uh, it will probably be on Ken Burns depending on what your iMovie project is set to. So if you go up here and see the Ken Burns, it scrolls down through the picture. Oh wait a minute. Hold on, yeah, you'll see it like moves down along the picture. So to make it not do that, you just go to Ken Burns and drag this down to the corner, and it will automatically fill the whole screen. Drag this up to the corner, it fills the whole screen. There you go. And then if we click enter, then you can see that it doesn't do that. It just stays there. So if you want to move it, um, it'll also just stay there. You probably want to go over here and go to picture in picture. So there you go, you're going to want to move that to the center, wherever you want to put it, size it accordingly. So to move it, up here, this is like, it's like, if you've ever, if you know anything about After Effects, you can put keyframes, and, and then if you go ahead and put another keyframe, it will like, move there or something. So if we go back here, and place a keyframe right there, and then if we go over here, and we move it down to the right, and click enter you'll see that it moves see that's all you had to do you just had to move it and then once you get to that next keyframe you can scroll between the keyframes here by pressing these buttons you can undo that keyframe and then it won't be there anymore so there you go see the keyframe is gone it doesn't do any animation if you want to do one again go back to the last keyframe uh, move ahead a bit then move your picture again and then click enter We'll go up here and click the checkbox. And then here you go, you can see it moves up to the left. So there's also more you can do with the picture in picture. Um, like it doesn't have to move, it can do other stuff too. Uh, there we go, we'll move that. Um, say you go here, you set a keyframe. Or sorry, we already have a keyframe. And you go ahead this far, and then you can make it bigger. And then once it gets there, it will become bigger. So then we'll click enter, and then you'll see it will get bigger. Yeah. It's better than the Ken Burns because the Ken Burns actually cuts parts off of the picture. So this, when you just make it do this, then it doesn't really do that. So that helps out a lot. Let's see, what else can you do? There's also different things like the zoom, or the swap, so then that other one's in there, and then, the, I don't really do that one. But the zoom is really cool, I like the zoom. I do that on a lot of stuff. You can see it flies in like that, all weird and stuff. Um, you can do dissolve, and then if you don't want it to do that, this little bar right here shows the dissolve. Now it won't dissolve; it'll just appear there. If you don't like that, you can also put like a border on the picture. But if it's a PNG, it'll probably just go on the outside. You can change the color of the border. Um, you can see how long the dissolve takes. And there's other stuff you can just do with it. You can like make it shorter and pretty much just other things you can do with normal clips in iMovie. So there really isn't that much to this like tutorial. Uh, I'll pull in like a clip or something that has a face in it and then I will show you an example of that so we'll be right back. Okay so here you can see I got like a clip from Star Wars or whatever that I found. And then if we go here, see we have the kid. If we drag in a picture like the cry face, sure why not? Uh, you can just drag that in there. Go right to the point where you want it to start, and then you'll see it's all retarded and stuff. So you just have to click on the picture, go up here, fix the Ken Burns thing, make it all one big thing. Then you probably want to go over here and go to picture in picture, 
Uh, don't make it on Anakin, no. Let's make it on the little kid, the dude. Because he's sad. There we go. And then, as, as you can see, the camera moves a little bit. If you do not want it to do that. See, then you can make it. If we go right here. Go back a couple of frames using the arrow keys. Then we go back into this, make a keyframe, go ahead a couple of frames, move it over to his face. And then you will see that it will move onto his face. There you go, see? So it's basically just figuring stuff out, messing with it, see what you like and what you don't like. And you can basically do that. I've used this in a lot of videos, so it's pretty neat. I mean, I like doing it. <sighs> Sorry. It's morning, I'm tired. That is basically it for this week's tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helps you out. Uh, also, if you haven't seen Green Key's new intro on his Elder Scrolls video, then you should do that because that game like just came out. So you should probably go look at it because it's new and amazing and wow. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Go check him out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.